In Health Watch this morning, about 8,000 people in Oregon suffer from MS or multiple sclerosis. As Fox Hills' Marilyn Deutsch tells us, you can help raise money for MS research this Saturday by taking part in Oregon Walk MS. As they did last year, this year, teams will walk to raise money and awareness for MS, a debilitating disease that affects the brain and spinal cord. Among them will be Philip Rosebrook, diagnosed in 2001. I had a twitch in my face, a side, it was a, the side of my eye, side of my nose, side of my mouth, 24 hours a day for about three months. At first, the disease progressed very slowly. Eight, ten years into my diagnosis, I, uh, I remember going up for a run one day and my foot wouldn't pick up and I ended up dragging my foot behind me. Fortunately, medical breakthroughs are coming and a new infusion treatment is helping this active father of four. No new symptoms, everything I had before, I still can't run or walk very far. Um, but it turns out I can ride a bike over 100 miles, which I do most summers. Providence neurologist Dr. Stanley Cohan has been working with MS patients for decades. People can experience difficulty walking. People can have other forms of weakness, problems with coordination or balance. And despite progress, there's no proven therapy yet for those who suffer the slow progressive disease, though current clinical trials could bring new hope. This Saturday's walk will raise money for MS research and showcase the challenges of living with MS, but it will also show how MS can make people stronger. Phillip's walk team is called We Walk Because We Can for Those Who Can't. Marilyn Deutsch, Good Day, Oregon. And this year's MS Walk takes place this Saturday at Pioneer Courthouse Square, and the weather should be beautiful for it. If you'd like more information on the walk and on options for treatments for MS, just go to kptv.com and click on the Providence link. We provided um, the information there for you.